Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Razer Kraken 7.1 V2 Mercury Edition. The Razer Kraken 7.1 V2 has been around for actually quite a while, but they just released the gunmetal version and also the Mercury version a few months back or so, and I've been itching to get my hands on one of these, and eventually I've managed to get my hands on this beautiful Mercury Edition. I just have to say, I really like the unboxing experience on this because you literally just open the box and you see the Kraken in all its splendor sitting there looking so gorgeous. I also got my hands on the cooling gel infused ear cushions thingy for the Kraken, which I'll take a look at in another video, so stay tuned for that. So let's focus on this first, shall we? The Kraken 7.1 V2 has a white and grey colour scheme to it. I guess that's why they named it Mercury instead of Pearl White or something like that. The band, outer ear cups, mic and cable are white, while the padding for the head strap, adjustability strap and ear cups are grey. The adjustability options on these are limited only to the length of the attachments here and you can't swivel them or adjust tension like some other headphones, but on me, they feel very comfortable Maybe because they're quite light also, at approximately 346 grams. These are the oval cushions on the ear cups for those who are wondering, and there is a round version, but I think you can only change to that in the black version of the Krakens. Even wearing glasses, because I wear my ganas whenever I'm using the computer, I don't feel discomfort because apparently they've molded channels into the ear cushions to help with the usual problems when wearing glasses and headphones at the same time, so color me impressed. There's also a certain degree of noise isolation when wearing these headphones and they block out white noise very well so when you're wearing them, you, as you can see, they cover your ears really very well so yeah, they block out all the hum of say your aircon or computer or anything else. The Razer logo on each side of the ear cups also light up so you can customize them through the settings through the Razer Chroma software that you can download and there are three settings that you can have so spectrum cycling, breathing and static. The Krakens are running 50mm drivers and have been tuned for gaming. So these have 7.1 virtual surround sound so they definitely help in games like PUBG and Fortnite. When playing these games, I could literally hear the enemy's footsteps and gunfire super easily even when they were shooting from pretty far away and you can definitely tell whether it's coming from the left, right or even behind you. If you want to treat this as an all-in-one headset and use this for music also, this is definitely a very good pair for that because the bass is punchy, the mids and highs definitely have clarity and they do not distort even at the higher volumes. You will have to bear in mind that this is a USB headset, so there is no 3.5mm jack that is provided, so you can't swap out the cables and connect it to your phone or whatever. Side note, you can adjust and personalize all the settings through the Razer Synapse software if you want to experience a greater degree of customizability and tweak certain settings to your own preferences. The mic on the Kraken is retractable and easily adjustable and has active noise cancellation so your party members and friends won't hear any background noise if you're in a more noisy environment which is legit good. Okay, so this is the mic test and I'm just going to read you a short paragraph and let me know what you think about this in the comments. Yesterday, news broke that Evil Jesus had kicked misery and lost fear leaving the NA team with just three players ahead of their scheduled appearance at the China Super Major. However, there was little time to speculate who they would bring in, as their two new players have already been announced, while most predictions assume Evil Geniuses would bring in North American players, they have in fact recruited OG's Gustav S4 Magnuson and Captain Tal Fly Isaac. So this is what the mic sounds like, and there is a very cute thing you can do, which is you can just mute it by tapping on the mic as you can see the mic turned red when it was muted so this makes it very easy for you to mute your mic and to know that it's muted when say you want to talk to someone in the room and don't want your teammates to hear your private conversations and whatnot one of the only other flaws i found with this pair of krakens is the fact that there are no on headphone controls anywhere so even on the cable there are no controls so you won't be able to manually adjust them you have to go into software to adjust your settings other than that, this is a super beautiful pair of headphones and priced at 100 USD or around 170 SGD, this is definitely a pair of very beautiful headphones which I absolutely love, especially this Mercury edition. 
they are very very comfortable and the sound is amazing for this price so thank you for watching let me know what headphones are you using and what do you think of these headphones are they good for the price like and subscribe for more tech and gaming reviews and i'll see you guys in the next one bye